<laughs> All right, now. One good drink of water. Excuse me. Let's see now. Excuse me for a moment. This is live. Well, for me it is. So I don't have many pretensions here. It's just me behind the piano playing drums and doing my thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, I can't be guilty of much. I mean, if I'm doing three things like that, I can't be up to something else. Come on. <laughs> but I need to do one thing is locate my... There it is, my drumstick. I don't know what mood I'm in today. And, uh, I have a poem before me. Good. I may not be in the mood, so I may have to save it for tonight or something if I play. And then you use that. Okay. Yeah. And that's like the cake wall. And the other, eh? I like the woozy sound, man. I want to try something, man. See, I want to try my dances, man. See what kind of dance I can get going here. Just enough food. Too, too fast. Thank you. 
44 Largo mm. 44 Largo
imagine, if you will, some old professor just speaking his mind. Because when it comes to poetry, hey, baby, I ain't talking nobody's poop. And that's kind of the way it was. <laughs> Stuff, you know, this this very educated guy, man, who actually taught history, was talking about how things were, his own opinions, and then he wrote poetry. <laughs> and in his poetry, hey, there wasn't no poop, man. This is real stuff, you know. So it's really good, man. I really like reading this stuff, and. Uh, So tonight, I hope that you endure me. Okay, the Battle of King's Mountain. The Battle of King's Mountain in the American Revolution, 1780. Mountain in Carolina, 1780, year, the 7th of October, month, the battle was fought there, the British force, 900 strong, loyalist for the king, their objective was to subjugate Conquer, there was their thing. Conquer, there was their thing. Nine hundred forty was the roll. The patriotic band. They came to drive the Tories out of their mountain homeland. This Major Patrick Ferguson, a leader of some fame, was in command of British troops. Some honor to his name. <laughs> the Patriot Backwoods Fighting Force William Campbell Command had troops and leaders from five states. Rob Boned, tough to a man. The British Tory Army Force was camped on highest ground. 
They're on King's Mountain highest ridge. So they could see all around. That pleased the frontier fighters fine. With Tories in plain sight, they formed a circle round the ridge, made ready for the fight. At three o'clock in afternoon, the battle noise began. The backwoods men started to move, their rifles, their long rifles in hand. Their deadly rifle fire and yells brought down the Tories horde, brought down the Tory horde, whose musket fire and bayonets seldom made hits nor scored. When Tories charged, frontiersmen ran, but just a little way to load again and shoot and yell and climb back up to stay. Then other backwoods fighters, too, attacked the Tory crowd from the other side of the ridge with guns and yells so loud. The frontier riflemen were skilled. They seldom missed a shot. Tory muskets seldom hit true. They shot too high a lot. The battle raged for one long hour, all up and down the slopes. The Tory men died on the ground. They fell in their hopes. One Tory saw their hopeless flight, raised a white flag to cease. Major Ferguson cut it down, not yet to sue for peace. <laughs> Ferguson let her break through try. With a few volunteers, he and every man who charged were shot dead with no cheers. The Tories Raised some more white flags. Backwoodsmen gave no mind. They spoke of the Wax Hawes battle, where Tories killed in kind. The battle, finally, the battle finally wound down. Shooting came to a halt when patriots chose to kill no more. They're on the mountaintop. The British losses were the most, 119 killed, 123 wounded. A lot of blood was spilled. The backwoodsmen had losses too. 28 were there dead. 62 were badly wounded. Their epitaph was read. 664 Tories were taken prisoner too. Many wounded were left to die. They're on the mountain blue. <clears throat> this King's Mountain great victory had a long range effect. Carolina Tory action ceased. Their British support wrecked. In this King's Mountain British loss, their battle plans were beat. It even helped to set the stage for their Yorktown defeat. The Battle of King's Mountain in the American Revolution, 1780. Thank you.
the Battle of Kings Mountain in the American Revolution, 1780. Poetry can be found on the internet, on the Google Books. You can download, get the whole book for nothing. Oh, uh, so you don't have to buy the book. No. And uh, but they do make a, a nice hard cover. I had it priced at eleven bucks. And it's set that they have to sell it cheap. So it can be found cheap out there, this hardcover. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. And, uh, but if, if you're interested in, uh, you know, just reading it or whatever, Browsing through a, you just type in my words by Dr. L. Paul Hyatt, and or there should be a link on my website on my channel too, the Bristly Pine. Yeah, there's a link there. I'm trying to put more links in everything. So, you, you know, it's easy for you to just click on a link and, and go locate what I want you to find. And uh, it's free. You know, that was very important that it's free. Or I wouldn't have done it. But. But at least, you know, you'll have access to some poetic history. And that's very important. Interesting stuff, you know. I, you might hear it and think, hey, that guy I might want to hear that again or something, you know. So you go back and listen to it or whatever and learn some history. Well, anyway, I'll see you next time. And have a good evening. All right. Yeah. <laughs>